Hey folks, get a few banks. Right smack in the dab of Hallelujah Hump Day Devotional Day. It's Wednesday. We're halfway through the week. Thank goodness. I've had a tiring day. Had a real long weekend, and when you have a real long weekend, it makes the heart go back to work. Ah, hope everybody has uh, enjoyed the last few um, devotionals I've made. I think this is like um, number four, maybe? I'll have to check. I'll put that in the title. But <clears throat> the question of the day is, do you have a memory verse? And you might say, memory verse? What are you talking about? Well, from the Bible. Memory verse from the Bible. The Bible is full of memory verses. Great ones. Um, you know, uh, John 3.16. You know, a lot of people had never, ever heard of John 3.16 until old Tim Tebow won, wore it on his, uh, his cheeks. And uh, got, it got looked up a lot on uh, the internet, more understanding after that. But, uh, you know, uh, there's uh, the tried and true John 3.16. The tried and true John 3.16. That's what it is. For God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish, have everlasting life. I learned that at a very young age. And I talked to my children at a very young age. That's a great one to know. But there's, there's, there's many. Uh, all things work together for good, them that love the Lord. I can do all things through uh, Christ who strengthens me. I think... Uh, that's Ephesians 2, 8, 9, and the other one's uh, Romans 8, 28, uh, that other one. But you might say, well, Jeff, I'm not real good at memorizing stuff. I understand. It's hard to memorize things. Um, and, and believe me, if you knew the stuff that I have committed to memory, you would be impressed. Um, at one time, I had the entire uh, graveside um, service for the Masonic Lodge, graveside ritual is what it would be called, committed to memory. Now, it's still up there. It's a little foggy. It might take a little shine in to get it pulled back out, but I could do it. But I want to share a um, passage with you that is a great memory verse. Great memory verse. We're going to be reading from... John, the 11th chapter. He goes, Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, fourth book in the New Testament, 11th chapter. And this passage has to do with when Lazarus died. And um, it was um, a time that Christ was um, looked upon and the ones around him saw his human side, the man side of it. Christ was fully God, fully man all at the same time. Uh, I'm going to start the 33rd verse. said, when Jesus therefore saw her weeping, now this was speaking of one of Lazarus' sisters, so I think her name was Mary, and the Jews also weeping, which came with her, he groaned in his spirit and was troubled. He saw the hurt in these people's lives. We know what it's, just about everybody knows what it's like to lose a loved one. Uh, I had a, a friend from school uh, just this past weekend. His dad passed, and uh, uh, it's, just, uh, it's just horrible, horrible to lose a loved one like that. And the 34th verse, and he said, Where have ye laid him? And they said to him, Lord, come and see. The 35th verse. This is the, um, the memory verse I'm going to encourage you to learn. And I've got a lot of confidence in everybody that's watching this video. I think you can probably learn it in about 10 seconds. Jesus wept. That's the shortest book. In, I mean, that's the shortest verse in the Bible, but it speaks volumes. Then said the Jews, behold, how he loved him. And some of them said, Could not this man which opened the eyes of the blind have caused this even, had caused that even this man should not have died? So Jesus wept, and you'll hear a lot of scholars talk about, you know, he wept because, well, he loved Lazarus. 
uh, he wept because he was fixing to pull Lazarus back out of paradise because Lazarus had already passed on. But the fact that Jesus wept, same thing you and I do when we lose somebody that we love. Uh, tears, they just flow. Uh, I'm a lot like my mom. My mom, if you, uh, <laughs> if you throw a, a tissue on the ground the wrong way, she'll just wall. Uh, my daddy, on the other hand, he was a rock. Very seldom, very, very seldom did I ever see dad uh, lose composure. You know, around church, yes, but out, away from church, I probably counted on four fingers. But something I found, I'm beginning to be more like dad now. Uh, I think it's because of everything we've been through over the last five years. And when I say everything we've been through, I'm talking about me. And first and foremost, we're losing my dad. And that caused a lot of heartache in my life. But folks, when things get bad, just remember, even Jesus wept. So, your lesson today. Go home. You're home already, probably. And repeat this. Jesus wept. John 11, 35. There's your memory verse. Y'all have a good day. Oh, oh, my Bible's falling open on me here. Y'all have a good day and a good evening. I hope to see you soon.